you guys doing here? You guys messing with my phone? Well, anyway, since you're here, I guess I will show you some new apps. New to you, not to me. Um, this is my G1. I'll show you the new apps. I'm Antonio. Let's get to it. Alright, the first app I'm going to be going over is Aldico. This is a book app. It uh, lets you check out books. It's free on the market. There's a free version and there's a paid version. The free version is what I have here. It has your little bookshelf where you know it keeps track of your books that you have downloaded. Uh, you can download books. There, a lot of them are free. You can just we'll just check a few out. Free public domain books. Um, there is actually a wide variety of books to choose from. Um, here we'll just do popular books. And um, I was surprised to see that they had a wide variety, but however, they do not have what's this guy's name? Oh, Jerome, Eric Jerome Dickey. All the ladies love him. My wife was like, "Ooh, I want that app. I want Eric Jerome Dickey." Well, he's not here. Sorry, ladies. No Eric. But uh, fellas, they do have the Kama Sutra. You may like that. Maybe something you could check out. Uh, the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. They just recently made a movie out of that. It's a pretty good movie. Haven't read the book, but this is just a few of the books that they have to offer. They have this little tab here. You can slide up and down. Dracula, Moby Dick, Alice Adventures in Wonderland. A lot of cool books. It's a pretty cool app. Um, that's uh, one app I want to show you. The other one is Astro. Astro File Manager. This is definitely a must-have app for all anybody pretty much who has a cell phone with a memory card in it should definitely have an, a file manager of some sort. I use Astro. Astro is very useful. It has a lot of these cool options up here at the top. Uh, you press multi and it allows you to select multiple apps for whatever reasons. Maybe you want to copy them, multiple apps. You just select multi and you can do that. Um, this one's really cool because you see these little pictures here? Those are the actual pictures. So it gives you thumbnails of your pictures. So it helps you keep stuff organized. You see I have CM updates. That's for my Cyanogen Mod updater. I got my uh, zips. Your zips look like this cool little box with files in it. It's pretty cool. Downloads. Everything's organized. I got all my downloads in here. Lots of games. DX top. It's just really cool to have, you know, it's a really nice thing to keep your phone organized. And I am definitely into organization. It makes things a lot better. Uh, the next app I want to show you is Documents to Go. Documents to Go is another essential app for someone who's going to school or maybe a business professional. Whatever you do, if you're going to be writing documents and you use Microsoft Word, which is pretty much used, you know, nationwide everyone uses Microsoft Word for one reason or another so here's a Microsoft Word thing they have you just open a new file create new document you can just create your own Microsoft Word right on your phone so if you're in school or you know like I said you know you just use Microsoft Word you can just begin typing and creating your phone your file right there on the spot so it's really simple like I said you press menu gives you a list of options view, edit, insert, format, you know, you got your bold, your italic, underline, bullets, hyperlinks, bookmarks, your indent, all that stuff. It's really got everything. It's really that just turns your phone into like a mini laptop. Uh, let's see what else it has. It also has um, sheet to go which is basically the mobile version of uh, Microsoft Excel. It, it's compatible with Excel documents so if you do have an Excel document you can open it on your phone and edit it on your phone so it opens up really quickly you can see it looks just like Excel on your computer slides around gives you all the stuff you would get on your computer you can select see it's just scrolling around you can select these little cubicles start typing in and it comes up right up there just like you would on your computer screen it's really good you press menu it gives you a list of op options Operators, it tells you what to press in order to get like certain results. Um, I'll post a link to the tutorial of a, a, another YouTube user who shows you how to get more in depth with these files. It's got the slide to go. This is PowerPoint. 
Uh, I'm not sure how to use PowerPoint very well, but like I said, I'll post the link. So it's really simple. You know, first slide, however, PowerPoint, however you use your PowerPoint. I'm not really into it, but uh, it's a really good app to have. I know that I'm going to be starting school soon, and I'm definitely going to be using it. This other app is called Talk to Me. Really cool. One of my favorite apps. Um, how this works is you type in something here. So let's just type in I love Antonio. Uh, everyone loves Antonio, so that's why I picked that. You know, common sense tells you everyone loves Antonio. It's just the way things are. So um, you press translate and it translates it for you and it'll even speak it for you you can press uh, multiple languages let's see you can put it in Spanish translate and it's me encanta, me encanta Antonio that means somebody loves Antonio you can change it from Spanish to Italian translate he love Antonio sweet deal they love Antonio so do I that's one nice app and the last one I wanted to go over is a flashlight it's really simple plain and simple click on it screen turns white go find your keys flashlight definitely useful even if you don't do nothing but stay at home all day and all night at least at night you'll be alright you got your little flashlight alright guys um, I hope that little review of apps was useful for you it was great for me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. You guys can go ahead and see yourselves out of my room. Alright, it was nice having you guys. This is Antonio signing off. Blech.